hey what's good people tunji from caesar graphics welcome to my channel today i'm going to be teaching you how to achieve this awesome 3d title now guess what you can use this to achieve projects like church poster or spot poster depending on the concept behind the title so let's dive into today's tutorial So if you need the exercise file for this tutorial simply make use of the link in the description section of this video so i'm going to drag my background from the exercise file folder and i'm going to go to illustrator where i have my already designed title all right so the font that i use here is a trijan all right so what i just did was you know i just played with the letter a and the r the t the h and the letter r here so i'm going to copy the title and i'll go back to photoshop and paste it so here i'm going to use um shape layer all right and i'm going to select the ok button and i'll bring out the free transform and scale this down and position it you know let's just make it bigger a bit and i'm going to position it here then I'm going to drag my rock image in and I'm going to scale that big or let's just make it smaller a bit and I'm going to hit the enter key and position my mouse in between the shape layer and the rock um, layer. I'll hold on alt till I have the arrow facing down with the square shape next to it and I'm going to click bring out the free transform and just scale this down a bit more. I'm going to position it somewhere around here. And I'm going to hit the um, enter key on my keyboard. So now if I zoom in, if you look at the edges of my letters here, they look perfect. So we need to give it that stone uh, effect. Okay, so I'm going to hold on control and click on the thumbnail of the shape layer to create a marquee of it. And I'm going to zoom in and then I'll go straight to the last two here. All right. And I'll hold on alt and randomly take out the selection like so so i'm going to do the same thing here do the same thing here so like i said the whole idea is to make it have this um stone effect don't release your hand from the alt key on your keyboard because if you do so you are going to deselect the marquee all right all right this is good so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the shape layer and i'm going to click on the layer mask icon and then we have this okay so i'm going to uh, put the two layers in a group and i'm going to call this title okay and i'll make a copy and i'm going to take away the copy from this and call this backup which is E C K U P. All right. I'll hide this. I'll select this. Right click and so convert this to smart object. And next, I'm going to right click on it again, and I'm going to rasterize it. So the whole idea of rasterizing it is 
so as to not make the project heavy select the effect icon here and i'm going to select bevel so uh sorry i already have the settings here but if this is the first time you're doing this you may not um have all these like this so my style is set to inner bevel and technique is set to chisel soft depth is six four six um direction is set to down size is set to 101 it's possible my size here may not work with your size depending on the um, size of the title okay so if you notice that um you are not getting these effects like okay, for example if i move this back to let's say zero you see how flat the bevel effect is so if you have this um, type of uh, effect on your title it means you need to increase the size all right so i'm going to make this go back to 101 all right like so all right so for the soft make sure your soft is set to zero and for the angle i'm going to make that um 50 so the whole idea of adjusting the angle and the altitude is to control these two guys here which is the highlight mode and the shadow mode so i'm going to leave my angle to be 50 and i'm going to make sure that use global light is checked and altitude is going to be 32 and right on the gloss contour make sure you use this option here all right these are default contour that came with um, photoshop so just make sure you check you select the gaussian option here and i'm going to make sure that um your highlight mode is set to multiply and the color you're going to use is going to be 563C2B here. Alright, so I'm going to select the OK button and I'm going to go straight to the screen and click on the color picker and I'm going to show you guys the code which is FFD33A. And I'm going to select the OK button and make sure that your opacity is set to 39 like mine. Alright so then i think every other setting is okay the way i have it here and i'm going to select the okay button all right then i'm going to um, go back to illustrator and copy the rider and i'll go back to photoshop and paste it select the okay button bring out the free transform and just scale this down and put this here so then i'm going to select the shape tool and i'll change the color to um, this shade of yellow and i'm gonna create a new layer and call this brush all right because i want to create a gradient effect and i'm gonna go to the color pick the foreground color picker and i'm going to pick a color from here all right and i'm gonna select the ok button and i'm gonna drag this here so i'm gonna hold down alt and position my mouse in between the shape layer which is the rider and the brush layer and um, immediately i have the arrow facing down with a square shape i'm gonna click all right to put the brush layer inside the rider let's just call this rider so i'm going to double click on the layer and call this rider right and i'll move this excuse me i'm gonna move the brush up a bit like so all right then i'm gonna copy All right, this is good. So I should select everything and position this here. Okay. And so I'm going to stamp visible of the project by holding on Control Shift, Alt, and E. Now, the reason why I did this is because I want to take this to camera raw. So I'll right click and say convert to smart object because after applying the camera raw filter to the layer, it's possible um, the result may not look the way I want it. So in order for me to be able to go back to my camera raw filter and adjust the settings it's better i you know convert this to a smart object so i'll call this um raw layer all right then i'll go to filter and select camera raw filter okay so i'm going to start with the basic which is the very first um option here so for my contrast all right so i'm going to 
increase the contrast all right so as to add depth to the project and for the highlight I, I want this side to be more brighter than it is so i'm going to increase the brightness like so all right so for the shadow i'm going to dial that down a bit because i only want to i want to have you know more depth for the, on the project so i am going to go straight to the white which is on um, this side all right so i'm going to just increase the white a bit not too much and i'm going to add more contrast to the pixels by increasing the texture all right like so then i'm going to increase the vibrance to make the project more colorful all right so i'm going to hide this and i'll go straight to the detail here i'll add more sharpening to this like so all right this is good okay so i'll go to the color mixer all right now i notice i have um red on my title here so i don't want those uh, red colors so i'm going to go under red and dial this down all right so i'm going to just stop right here and i want to have more yellow so i'm going to increase the yellow uh, like so okay and let's just make it a, all right so uh for the split tone i don't have anything to do there so for the color calibration yeah so i'm going to just increase the green primary because i want to have you know touch of green on the background not too much just little so i'm going to increase the green primary a bit right so i am going to stop here then i'm going to click on the ok button all right now you see the difference so if i hide the raw layer now you see that this is the before and this is the after all right so um the next thing i'm going to add is the dates so i'm going to click here and just type drop here and scale this down it should be throw this scale this down like so all right so uh this is it i'm glad you made it to the end of this tutorial so if you are able to achieve any project with the help of this tutorial simply post it on your instagram page and remember to tag me my instagram handle is at caesar graphics if you have not subscribed, remember to hit the subscribe button and remember to click the bell so you get notified when I post my tutorials. Share, like and comment on this video and I'll see you again in the next one. Peace.